Hello, my lovelies. Uh, this is just a, hey, here's what I got for Christmas. <laughs> um, my mom got me these cool vintage uh, Coca-Cola cards, and I just really like that tin. I love, I'm collecting tins lately. And then she got me some affirmation cards because she thought I needed them. <laughs> um, you know, you know, a lot of times as an adult, you just call your mom to vent and she just keeps saying, do your affirmations, do your affirmations. And I guess I have them now, so I can't, I have, I've got no excuses. <laughs> but they're all kind of pretty and they're all like in different script and different colors and stuff. So I'm actually think I'm going to use some of these in my first uh, junk journal January prompt, which is like resolutions. And I think day two is like quote. So I think it's going to work perfect for both those prompts. So let's uh, check and a check. Because I'm doing junk journal January, if you didn't know. It's a challenge created by um, Meg Journals. So go do it. <laughs> um, I got some watercolor pencils, so that'd be cool. I got a sketchbook. My sister gave it to me. It's beautiful paper. It's really huge. It's 8 by 11. Um, then there's this like paper plane book that I thought I might be able to use some of it in a journal, like cut it up. I'm not going to make paper planes. Um, but like I could use that map for something. I could use that pterodactyl that's dragon it is the year of the dragon so i might actually cut that out and use that in junk journal january um then uh, my mom went to like a church estate sale and got a whole bunch of these paper packs which i will flip through in a minute i got four of them she gave me some crayola super tips so i don't have to share with my kids anymore <laughs> um and then this was one is kind of a low key gift to myself or like my husband gave it to me. And I say that gave it to me in quotation marks because we were um, Christmas shopping for the kids and we just both looked at each other and we're like, OK, are we really going to do the gift thing for each other or we could just pick something out for each other like right now? And he's like, just look in where we're going. And if you see something you like, get it. So this was his gift to me. But I picked it out myself. <laughs> but it's, you know, fungi and fairies and stuff right up my alley. I'm in like a cottage core mood. So it fits. It goes. And then uh, look at all of these patterns, you guys. Like some of them are old school looking. Um, some of them are gold gilded. I am living for some of these patterns. I sped it up quite a bit just because I felt like y'all didn't want me to see me slowly flipping through. <laughs> but um, some of these patterns are just like beyond gorgeous. And um, you can tell that they're kind of not trendy. Like they're not from paper packs that are recent. A lot of them are from like 15 years ago. Um, this one is like just colors, neutral colors, but it's textured. So it has like these ridges on it. But a lot of times I like to collage with the rainbow. So I'll go through my stash and find colors. And then this one is all like vintage. It's all um, like Jane Austen inspired. And uh, man, I wish I had some of this stuff when I was making my reading journal. So I'm kind of bummed <laughs> because Pride and Prejudice is my favorite book like of all time and my like look at these little frames I could cut those up and put them in a spread or um yeah like I don't think I'd use it whole but like yeah it's very like Victorian I can cut those out and use those for something so like it's really cool to see things and use them in different ways because like I don't have to just use them as covers or something I could pick them apart and rip them apart um same with this wedding this one is like wedding themed and I doubt I'll ever need wedding stationery but a lot of this is like silver gilded and it's just really pretty and I'm sorry for the like not focusing because I think it was trying to focus on my hand and not the paper so sorry about it um 
but yeah, the papers are just stunning and they're all like seriously so old. Not old, old, like seven, like a hundred years old, but I'm just, you know, a lot of times paper goes in trends and this is not that at all. Um, but that's all she wrote. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.